Harvey, Harvey Factor with me, your host, John Harvey, and today we're going to bake a foam. As you can see, I've got my ingredients, I've got my eggs, I've got my flour, I have my sugar, and I have my mixer. It's all we need. Now, obviously, we're not going to bake a foam because we all know that we make a foam. But this is going to be a demonstration to share with everybody how conflict minerals can get into our human and dynamic system in a way that we can barely tell or know that we are actually holding conflict minerals in our own hands. So, let's say we put in our flour. One, two, three, and we put it in this one as well. One, two, and three. I'm going to make such a mess here. Then we struggle to open up the sugar. More granules everywhere. So the sugar we put in here represents our minerals. In our phones, there are four key minerals, and these minerals are tungsten, tantalum, tin, and gold. And each of these minerals serve a different function and a different purpose in the foam. For example, the tin is used to solder the components into the motherboard. What I'm going to show you is the process that happens between this iPhone or other phone, don't want to get sued, and this smartphone here. So, first off, let's break the egg into both of them. There we go. And so, and now I'm going to put my minerals into the production system. So this axe, this here, this bowl, is the smelter. And the smelter is where the minerals get broken down and heated and get put into our devices. According to a European Parliament report, these smelters generally are in Asia and they do not have to follow the guidelines that um, have been put forward whereby companies have a responsibility to check and make sure where their minerals are coming from. And there is our cake mixture. So this could be our motherboard for our smartphone. As you can see, all of the ingredients are mixed together. It is impossible to be able to find my, gran my grains of sugar, definitely can't find the egg, we know it's in there, but we cannot extract and cannot see. Let's say we've got, some we've got some minerals from a conflict region, say the Democratic Republic of Congo. So let's see how that works. So in the system, what can happen so that these conflict minerals get into our smartphones is that they will be mixed together so that you cannot ascertain where they actually come from. So we're going to mix in some So here is our tin, if you will, which is used for the soldering So this is our tin from the conflict mine and our tin from the non-conflict mine Here's what happens when we mix them all together Already, as we can see, okay, you can't smell this, um, so this has got a slight tropical smell, but other than that, it is looking very, very similar to the foam with no conflict minerals in it. And there we go, we have made our two smartphones. And as we can see, this is the smartphone that is being used, that is being made using um, minerals that haven't been drawn from a conflict zone. And this is the smartphone that we have made using minerals from a conflict zone. And once they are mixed into the system, it is very difficult to tell and distinguish one from the other. And the issue then becomes, if we know that it's happening, what can we do about it? 
and that's what we're going to explore next lesson. Thanks for watching, cheerio, and take care.